I am here. Let's say this is a room. I am here. And I'm in the room. And like, it's like almost on the horizon. Like the sun looks a little different. But I'm just in there. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, what the hell? All right, whatever, cool. But again, at this point, I don't even feel like it's a dream. I feel like it's just whatever, right? Because that's what happens in a dream. Do you know who I see in the room? Do you know who I see in the room? This is not a single floor. It's multi-floor. Do you know what I see in the room? I know y'all getting funny. I know y'all getting funny. I know y'all getting funny. I see y'all in the comment sections. The person who I see in the room The person I see in the room is XXXTentacion. I kid you not. And for a second, I was like, what the fuck? There was X in front of me. I kid you not, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. It was X in front of me. I see. I, see, I know a lot of y'all clowns. I'm, I'm just telling you the dream. I'm just telling you the dream. And I'm going to tell you why it feels surreal. And I don't know why, but like, I saw him in front of me. He never said a word. Not there. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna keep tell you. So I see him in the room, and I'm like, "Yo, X." I think it was almost known to me that I realized he was dead, but somehow I was communicating with him, even though he was dead, and I was seeing him. And I was saying to him, I was like, "Yo, X, like you know." Bro, you did a lot of like there's a like your life was really your life is really polarizing because there's a lot of things that could be considered bad that you did, but you did a lot of good. And I was having that conversation with him and I was just talking to him and he was just looking me just dead in the eye and he just didn't say anything. And like I forgot exactly what I said. I was like, yo, was was so and so shit, like yo, you fucked up. Like, yo, you did that wrong. And I don't know why I was kind of like, I was kind of like, almost like, yo, you did that bad, bro. You know, and this is me talking to his afterlife figure. I don't know what, and I kid you not, he just looked at me and he never said a word. He just started crying. Just like, it was his tears. I've never seen him cry. He's a really arrogant dude, just like me. He, I've, I've never seen weakness like, and I don't call crying weakness. I, I, excuse me on that. But he was just tearing up. And I just saw tears just coming down his face. And I kept going a little bit, but like, I think I was trying to have some understanding because I was coming across like, why this happened? Why that happened? Why'd you do this? Bro, like, remember I was telling you this? Remember? And what happened is he looks like, he, he looks at me, bro. I'm telling you, he's tearing up. He looks at me and I hope y'all can see it. Okay. He looks at me. We're here, right? Look, we're here. He walks over to here, like by, it's, it's like all this shit is glass. Like these are, you know, like the hotels, like gla all glass windows and shit. He walks over to here and I'm like, damn, why he just turning his back on me? I walk over with him right here. And he looks over to here. Let me just draw another box. This is like, a, say another room. They all, they're all facing this little, it's like an L-shaped thing, right? He looks over there. Yo, y'all gonna think I'm so crazy. Again, I'm, I'm just telling you what I dreamt. Maybe my mind is just fucking amazing. It might be. Like, yo, I'm back. I am academic. Like, yo, my mind is kind of amazing. But shit, this shit was so vivid, I was like, what the fuck? He looks over to this room here. This room. So he walks over, he turns around. Remember I was talking to me, he's crying. He walks over, he turns around, he looks at this room right here. And I walk over to where he's at, and I stand side by side to him, and I look over to this room as well. And I fall into another level. I'm, now I'm processing that I fall, fall into another level of, of, um, dr of dreaming, because... And y'all got to really connect with me for y'all to understand this, at least how I'm interpreting it now. When I dreamt me being in this room, 
I was in the present. When he looked over to this room and I went over there and I looked there too, I appeared in this room. So like I literally trans, my body went to this room, but he wasn't with me. I just was in the room that he was looking at because we, we saw him in this room. Then I appeared in the room and he had went somewhere, but I'm in the room, but this was a past. So this is a present. This is a past. This is a present. This is the past. That's important. So in this room, I know he's dead. He walks over. He looks at this. Almost like he's trying to explain some shit to me. And, and I don't know if it's like a movie or whatever. But like, I appear in the room. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I watch. I watch, which it was a surreal shit. And again, that's what I'm saying. Like, the only reason why it trips me out is a dream. Because it's not even like things that I could be like, oh, I'm bringing this back from my memory. It, it just... It's just, it's like random new inf information. Again, I don't want nobody to take what I'm saying and be like, yo, this is some true shit. I'm just telling you a dream I had, which was just fucking wild. I stared at the ceiling for four hours after. This was me in the past. And, or no, no, watching the past. And I'm in the room and I see X. He comes in. So X walks into the room, to this room. This is the past. And there's a chick in there. But they can't see me. They can't see me. Also, very worthy to note, before this happened, when I was talking to him. No, no, no. Actually, it was this room. So, in this room, I see him fighting with this girl. Like, they're arguing, they're fighting. X is breaking, match. I'm just telling you what, what happened in my dream. Like, this is not reality. This is my dream. He's breaking magic. I don't know why he was upset at her, but they're fighting. She's arguing. And I, I'm assuming that he like paid for the hotel. He's breaking shit. And I, I'm powerless in this part of the dream. Like no one's really paying attention to me. And I've kind of thought about it now. It's like, bro, I couldn't change history. You know, like I was just watching it. I was just watching what happened. Anyway, he ends up fighting with her. He, he wrecked the entire hotel room. The chick, I don't know what even happened to her, but he wrecked the whole, the whole, he never hit her also. Let me just very clarify. He never hit her, but he was super upset at whatever. They were having arguments. He broke a bunch of shit. And because of that, he left. And because of that, he left. That's when he went to clear his, clear his head, clear his mind. And he was like, fuck it, I'm about to get a motorcycle. That's what happened in my dream. I'm not saying this is reality. And that's when he got killed. God rest the soul of XXX and Tassion. You know, I think I think I probably still do carry a guilt of not having that last conversation with him, of not answering his phone call that last time. Cause I was mad at him. Mic check one two one two. Cloud tokens here. Make sure you subscribe for more content. If you don't, I will harass you in the comments. This is a known fact. Do not test me. All right, so look. What the fuck did I just listen to? I don't know if I'm high, AK high, you high, we high, or who high. So earlier today, DJ Academics, who was a hip-hop media outlet, one of the biggest in 2019, explains how he had a spiritual experience with the afterlife. He says he talked to X, 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 Tentacion in a dream. And basically he was berating X saying, why didn't you listen to me? I told you how to move. I told you to have security, this, this and that. And you didn't listen. And he says X just started crying. He didn't respond. He didn't try to defend himself. He just started crying. And he walked to a window, pointed him to another window. And according to academics, that other window was the past and it showed x fighting with his girlfriend in the hotel room breaking things yelling and cussing her out then he left to go cool off and he decided he wanted to buy a motorcycle and that's how he ended up getting killed now a lot of spiritual people won't even look at ak like he's crazy because they have experienced these things but then there's other people who haven't experienced those spiritual experiences and they clown the person say they're crazy and things like that because they never had that experience 
But y'all let me know what y'all think. Are y'all that spiritually in depth that y'all believe, AK, and y'all even maybe had that experience yourself? Or y'all just thinking this dude off some luxury, expensive drugs that has him hallucinating crazy? Let me know.